I've taken our design and I've reconfigured our same op amp, but now I've configured it as a bandpass op amp. And I've designed it so that it'd be about a 1700 hertz um, bandpass filter. And what I want to show you is how to run Monte Carlo analysis. Now I've run into this before. If you use real tight tolerance on your parts, um, you cause the cost of your product to go up. If you use loose tolerances on your part, then uh, you can get in the situation where you have manufacturing yield problems because the design doesn't work. So what we want to do is we want to select our part and right click on it and then we're going to add a distribution. Now I don't have any distribution set up so the first thing I have to do is define a distribution. So in this design we'll go ahead and define a, a normal distribution. I'll just call it normal. And we have a whole selection of distribution curves that you can pick from or setups that you can pick from. Each one with their own char uh, characteristics. I'm going to go ahead and use uniform distribution. So now I'll pick I'll pick our normal distribution. I guess I didn't actually add it. Yeah, I didn't add it. So now I'll pick it and the parameter we're going to value is the value. The tolerance that we're going to set, let's go ahead and pick a 10% tolerance. And for other capacitor, add distribution. I've already set it up. So now we can just type in our 10%. Pick our resistor. Add the distribution, normal, value, in this case let's go with, uh, I don't know, 20%. Add distribution, normal, value, let's make this a 1% part. Add distribution, normal, value, let's make this 5%. So now we set up all of our distributions on our design. So let's go ahead and set up the design to run Monte Carlo analysis. So you would pick statistical analysis, highlight Monte Carlo, let's run, I don't know, 25 runs, put in a seed, and let's just go ahead and simulate. Now what we've just asked the program to do is fairly complicated. We're going to do 25 runs in the frequency resp res uh, response space and 25 runs in the, the time analysis space. So this is going to take a couple of minutes to run. The thing that I want to point out is that for you to build 50 different um, or 25 different uh, prototypes just to check the part distribution you're getting from your supplier would cost you a lot of money and the reality is it's well worth setting up Monte Carlo analysis to run you know over uh, hundreds of runs and yeah it might take a little while to actually complete the simulation but because hyperlinks analog has such high capacity and such high performance it's not going to take too terribly long and you're going to be able to go back and avoid spending thousands of dollars trying to figure out what part tolerances need to be held in check so that you can actually manufacture high yield in your design.